Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have m plus n equals 13 and m n equals 13. So here we find the value of m and n. So now first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. So now in order to find the values of m and n, here first we focus on equation number 1. Uh, so our equation number one is implies that here you have m plus n equals to 13 and now we move this m to the right hand side and it is written as n equals to 13 minus m and we call this is our equation number three. So uh, here when uh, we substitute this value of n into the equation number 1 then our equation number 2 is uh, written in the quadratic in n variable. So here we substitute this value of n in equation number 2 so that our equation number 2 is implies that this is m times of n and we have the value of uh, n is 13 minus m equals to 13. Okay. So here we need uh, more simplifications and here we first multiply this m on both of these terms and it is written as 13 times of m minus m square equals to 13. And now in the next step you see here this is the quadratic equation but not in standard form. So now first we convert this into the standard form. So we move all the terms in the left hand side to the right hand side. So this is minus m square. When we move in the right hand side, it will become plus m square. This is plus 13m becomes minus 13m and this is 13 equals to 0. So now you see here, uh, this is the quadratic equation and now we solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. So here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 13 and c equals to 13. And we know about the quadratic formula, it is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the over quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a, b and c in this quadratic formula. So here uh, uh, first we substitute the value of b so the value of b is minus 13 when we substitute it here it is written as minus times of minus 13 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 13 square and minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 13 and it is divided by 2 times of a so our a is equals to 1. So in the next step here we need more simplifications and uh, we have this minus times of minus becomes plus 13 plus minus square root of minus 13 and you know that square root of minus 13 equals to 169 and 4 times of 13 equals to 52 and it is divided by 2. So here we subtract 169 minus 52 and it is written as 13 plus minus square root of 117 it is divided by 2. So because here we uh, write uh, or we find the values of m and n and we write our answer into the simplified form so that here we need to make the factors of 117 and its factors are here we divided by 3 and we get here 39 and we again divided by 3 and we get 13 and we divide it by 13 and we get here 1 so that uh, now we uh, write this uh, equation as 13 plus minus square root of 3 times of 3 times of 13 and it is divided by 2 so in the next step uh, you see here uh, we have uh, we move this 3 uh, in outside this square root sign and it is written as 13 plus minus 3 into square root of 13 and it is divided by 2. So that uh, here you see that we have two roots of the given equation. So now here first we uh, implies that our equation number 3. So uh, equation number 3 is equals to n equals to 13 minus m. This is our equation number 3 and now we substitute these two values of m here. Okay. 
so uh, it is written as here we write the positive value of m it is 13 plus 3 into square root of 13 divided by 2 and here we write the negative value it is 13 minus 3 into square root of 13 and it is divided by 2 and now we substitute these two values of m in equation number 3 so that uh, uh, first we substitute this value of m here so when you substitute this value of m here it is written as n equals to 13 minus m and the value of m is 13 plus 3 into square root of 13 divided by 2 similarly here parallel we substitute this value of m and it is written as n equals to 13 minus m so here the value of m is 13 minus 3 into square root of 13 divided by 2 so in the next step here we need to take the lcm of this uh, equation so our lcm is 2 and we get here 2 thirteens are 26 minus this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and now we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms and it is written as minus 13 minus 3 into square root of 13 so this is the value of n and we have n equals to 26 minus 13 equals to 13 minus 3 into square root of 13 divided by 2. So in the next step uh, here we need more simplifications here and uh, now uh, we simplify this term and we get our n equals to here we take the LCM of this equation and its LCM is 2. So this 2 thirteens are 26 minus this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we multiply this minus sign on both of these terms and it is written as minus 13 plus 3 into square root of 13. So here further we need more simplifications and it is written as 26 minus 13 becomes 13 plus 3 times of square root of 13 and it is divided by 2. So these are the two values of n. So uh, here uh, we get uh, this value of n and corresponding to the value of m is this one. Similarly from this value of m we get the corresponding value of n is this. Okay. So finally we have the two solutions of the given equation and these solutions are first we write the first solution it is m1 n1 equals to the first solution is the value of m1 is 13 plus 3 into square root of 13 divided by 2 and the value of n1 is 13 minus 3 into square root of 13 divided by 2 this is the value of m1 and n1 and the value of m2 and n2 is 13 minus 3 into square root of 13 divided by 2 and 13 plus 3 into square root of 13 divided by 2. So these are the two final roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.